Okay, so first of all, I'm going to import matplotlib.py plot as plt. And then I'll start by making a simple plot with some pretend data. So I'll make some x values, which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'll also make up some y values, which will be 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Then I want to plot this. So I'll do plt.plot. And then in brackets, I need to plot the x and y values that I just made up. Then I also want to show this plot. So that's plt.show, open and close brackets. And then if I run this, I get a nice simple plot. I want this to look more like a scatter plot. So in quotation marks, I'm going to put the letter O. And if I run this, it will change my data points to dots. Now I want to add some error bars to this. So I'm going to do y error is equal to, and to start off with, I'll do a constant value of 0 0.5. And to get this to plot, I need to do plt dot error bar, and then in brackets. The first two values are still the same. So that's the x and the y values. And then next I'll type y e r r is equal to, and then I called my error bar value up here, y error. So it's going to be equal to y error. And then I'll run this. And now you can see I have some error bars in there. But the error bar plot also has its own formatting. So I can get rid of this by doing formatting is equal to, and then in quotation marks, just putting a space and then running that, and that gets rid of the orange lines. If I also comment out this plot up here, that changes it. So I'm just seeing the error bars. And by default, the first plot is blue and the second plot is orange. So that's why they're changing colors like that. But I can also have the error bar plot have its own formatting. So if I change this to the letter O and run it, I get my data points back. And at the moment, the Y error values are all the same size. They're all 0 0.5 for everything. But I can make these variable if I put in some random errors here. Now, I need the same number of errors as I have for the number of data points, so five in my case. And then if I run this, now the error bars are variable sizes. So the 0 0.1 here goes with this data point here, and the 0 0.5 goes with this point, and so on. At the moment, the error bars are symmetrical, so they're the same size on the top and the bottom, but I can also make them asymmetrical. I'll change this here to Y error minimum, and then make a Y error maximum, and I'll make up some more error values. And then here I need to remake Y error, and this time it's going to have two values. The first one will be the errors I want to plot on the bottom, so y error minimum, and then the second one will be the errors I want to plot on the top. And this down here is still called y error, so it's linking now to this. And if I run this, you can see I end up with error bars that are, that are a different length on the top and the bottom. I can also have x error bars in here, so I'll type x error, and I'll just make this a constant value of 0 0.5. Then down here, I need to do x err is equal to my x error bar value up here. And this also needs a comma. And then I'll run this, and now I have x error bars as well. And I can also have the x error bars be variable or asymmetrical, just like I have the y error bars. 
Now with the error bar plot, you have lots of formatting options. If I search up here for mat plot lib error bars, I'll find this web page which has lots of information about the error bar plot, but I'm just going to copy this bit here and paste it down here and then comment it out. And the first five values in here are five I've already shown you. But other things you can change is the color of the error bars with E color. So I'll make these black and run it. And now you can see the error bars have changed to black. If I just do color in here is equal to black. It also changes the color of the dots as well. And if I had lines connecting these data points, it would change the line to black as well. I'll change that back to E color. Now there is also E line width, which changes the width of the error bars. And you can see they're nice and thick now, and I'll change that back. Then there's also the cap size. At the moment, I don't have a cap in there, but if I make the cap size equal to five, now all the error bars have a cap on the end of them. There's also cap thickness. Now uh, the cap size is like the length of the cap and the cap thickness is like the width of the cap. So if I make this 10, you can see they're really thick and I will change that back to something more normal looking. There's also bars above and this is by default false, but if I change it to true, then it's now plotting the error bars over the top of the blue dots. And if I change this to false, it plots the error bars underneath the blue dots. Now there's also error every, and by default this is one, but if I change it to two, it's only going to plot every second error bar. So it's plotting one, three, and five. And if I change this to three, it's only going to plot every third error bar. As I have five data points, that is error bars one and four. And I'll change this back to one. And then the next four values in here all do similar things. They change the error bars into limits. So if I make lower limits true and run this, it gets rid of the bottom error bar on the y axis and changes the cap on the top error bar to a arrow. Then if I change upper limits to true and run that, we get the downwards pointing error bar back again and we have an arrow on the bottom of this as well. This also works for the x axis values so I can do x lower limits equals true and run this and now the x error bar values are only going in this direction and there is an arrow on the end. And then for x upper limits equals true, I get the x error bars pointing in both directions and they both have arrows on them. Now in addition to this, there are many other formatting options that you can do on the error bar plot, which are the same for all other sorts of plots. So for example, I can change the alpha to 0.2 and run this, and this will make the error bars transparent. And if I want to change the marker size, for example, I can put ms equals 10, and run that and it increases the size of the markers and there are many other options similar to this. 
Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to plot error bars using matplotlib in Python, and that is everything.